Hey everyone, in the last video, I maxed out my Levo OnePlus CL Mini PC's components, but I still think we can do better. While watching other Mini PC videos here on YouTube, I realized there might be a chance to get a Mini PC that supports a dedicated GPU. That's when I got the idea to look for one. But here's the challenge. It's really difficult here in the Philippines. First, there's the lack of availability for these kinds of devices. Second is the price. I had several options, mainly from three brands, Vell, HP, and Lenovo. From what I've seen on YouTube, most people go with Lenovo, but I also wanted to check if Dell or HP had good alternatives. My requirements were pretty simple. One, the mini PC must have a PCIe slot or proprietary PCIe with a riser. Two, it should fit a low profile single slot GPU without major modifications. Three is the CPU must be upgradable. Most of the videos I watched featured the Lenovo ThinkCenter M920Q or sometimes the ThinkStation P330 Tiny. Unfortunately, neither is available here in the Philippines, but there is a close cousin to those models, which is the M720Q. We'll get to that in a bit. The M720Q is much more common here, but the prices aren't exactly cheap. I also checked Dell and HP models, specifically the HP Elite Desk 800G4 and the Dell Optiplex Micro. Unfortunately, neither could check all my boxes since they don't really support a dedicated GPU. That left me with the Lenovo M720Q, which I actually managed to get right here. I bought this one for only 4,000 pesos, which is around $70, and I think that's the best deal I could get for this kind of mini PC. So here are the specs. It has the original 65 watt adapter, Intel Core i3-8100T locked at 35W TDP, 16GB of DDR4 3200MHz RAM which is 2x8GB configuration, 1TB of Kingston 2.5 inch SATA SSD, however there are no Wi-Fi or M.2 SSD installed. For this video, let's test the M720Q as is before any upgrades. For the benchmarks, we have CPU-Z, shows the Intel Core i3-8100T, 4 cores, 4 threads, 35W TDP maximum. For GPU-Z, confirms that it has the Intel UHD Graphics 630. For the CPU benchmark, we have the Nova Bench. And the score for the 8100T is 430. For the GPU benchmark, we have the Unigine Valley forgot to click the benchmark option for this run but it ranged between 17 fps to 42 fps depending on the scene for the games that we tested we have left for them too it is hovering around 17 fps then for the league of legends on the tutorial we have around 97 fps For Musica Frame 2, it is barely playable at 15 FPS. Hades around 34 to 35 FPS, which is not great. Now we know the baseline performance, let's move on to the upgrades. First, I bought a 135W Lenovo replacement adapter. Should have gone with a higher wattage? Maybe. Should I bought an original one? Absolutely. But for now, this third-party 135W power brick should be enough for my planned upgrades. According to Lenovo's website, this mini PC can handle up to 230 watts with the right adapter, but there's also a 170 watt option, but it's bigger than the 135 watts. So I went with the smaller one, which only costs 585 pesos, which is around $10.
for the Wi-Fi card, I bought a Wi-Fi antenna and the Wav Link Intel AX210, which is a great card that supports tri-band up to 2.4, 5 GHz, and 6 GHz. However, the antenna I bought was the wrong one, so it didn't fit onto the card. Also, I searched for the correct one and picked up another antenna. Next, I bought a PCIe riser card bracket to allow a single slot, low profile GPU. For the GPU, I'll be reusing the NVIDIA Quadro K620 from my Leva OnePlus CL project. It's an older card but definitely an upgrade over the Intel UHD 630. For the RAM, we'll be using the kit from the Leva OnePlus CL, the 32GB 2x16 2400MHz. We swapped it out with the 16 gig kit, which is the 2 by 8 gig, 3200 MHz. So this is technically a downgrade in the speed as you'll see later. Lastly, storage. This PC only came with a 1TB 2.5 SATA SSD, which I couldn't fully use because of the GPU setup. My plan was simple. I take the M.2 SSD from my Leva OnePlus CL and swap the drives. The Leva would get the 1TB SATA SSD and this M720Q would get the 500GB M.2 drive. Unfortunately, the M.2 storage from the Leva turned out to be an M.2 SATA drive. Upon checking the supported drives, the M720Q only accepts M.2 NVMe storage. So I bought a 1TB NVMe SSD for only 2,500 pesos, around $44 since it is on sale. So here are the benchmarks after the upgrades. On CPU-Z shows the Intel Core i3-8100T, 4 cores, 4 threads, with the 35W TVP, with the 32GB of RAM running at 2400 MHz. For the GPU-Z, it confirms the NVIDIA Quadro K620 with the 2GB of VRAM alongside with the Intel UHD 630. For the CPU benchmark with Novabench, the score dropped to 347 points. As you can see, the 32GB 2400MHz RAM is affecting the CPU performance. Maybe in the future, we can swap the RAM for higher clock speeds and I'm aiming for a 64GB at 3200MHz, which is the max supported as for Reddit. For the GPU benchmark with Unigine Valley, it averages around 40 FPS with a score of 1668. So for the games tested after the upgrades, we have Left 4 Dead 2. It averages around high 80s, sometimes hitting 100 FPS. For the League of Legends, easily around 150 FPS during active gameplay. For Risk of Rain 2, it averages around 32 to 34 FPS, much more playable than before, though it dips to mid to high 20s with many enemies. And for Hades, it is a smooth 60 FPS with no issues. Now here's the issue. It is about the cooling of this mini PC. So the stock cooling on my M720Q isn't really designed for higher TDP CPUs around 65 watts or any dedicated GPUs. There is a copper heat sink upgrade available for this mini PC which could handle 65 watt CPU. I'm also planning to add a chipset heatsink for better overall thermals. Next, the airflow. If you keep the stock 
top cover, the system will thermal throttle. As for the videos, there are some 3D printed top covers available, but since I don't have any 3D printer, I'll be running this machine with the top cover removed for now while I look for better airflow solutions. And that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and until next time, think tic toe, see you on the restart.